Welcome to the parish of Tenterton. We are at the St. Mildred's Church of Tenterton, England, at the heart of the communities of Tenterton, Small Hythe, and St. Michael's. And this is the church of our three times great grandfather, George Chaxfield, who was born in 1811, and his father, Solomon. And the church dates back to the 12th century and has expanded several times. The church's exterior is stone rubble, and the interior has a five bay nave and north and south aisles, wooden barrel, vaulted ceiling. It's a completely, totally superb church. And hopefully we'll get a look inside and I could show you a few of the relics. This is St. Mildred's Church in Tenderton and this is her tower. It was built in 1461 when Tenderton was at the height of its prosperity from the medieval wool trade. She stands at 130 feet and the tower is built of Bethersden marble, which is a locally quarried limestone containing thousands of brightly colored shells. The tower was built probably by the mason Thomas Stanley during the high times of Tenderton when it joined with the sink ports of 1460. The sink to spell of 1400 in the east gable is rung horizontally from this west tower. This here is a very interesting old sundial. It's a vertical sundial and is hung backwards or upside down. And also the numbers move counterclockwise. So 12 is on the bottom. And as the shadow, the shadow goes, the sun sets this way. And as the sun sets, the shadow goes up this way, so the higher the shadow goes, the higher the time is. There you go. It's eight o'clock. So let's take a look inside the church. Look inside the church and see what we can find. The interior of St. Mildred's has a five bay nave and north and south aisles. Wooden barrel vaulted ceiling. Up here, see the shape of a sort of a half a barrel. And the stone chancel arch has blocked in lancets carved chancel screen. This is a totally superb church. The nave ceiling is exceptionally 15th century work. There are two block 13th century windows above the chancel arch. Very unusual position to find windows in Kent. And the five bay aisles are extremely narrow. The glass in the south aisle windows by Hughes of 1865 are rather fun. So let's take a look. Some of the stained glass windows of St. Mildred's. And here is St. Mildred, the Princess of Thanet. This is the Lady Chapel. And over here is a 17th century monument to Robert and Martha Whitfield. And Martha was once recorded as having been caught chiding and brawling in church with another Tenderton woman. This is a very nice monument to the victims of both world wars, World War I and World War II, from Tenderton. For God, for King, for country. The cemetery and headstones of St. Mildred, surround the entire church on three sides. It's like a ring-necked dove enjoying her stay. 
and Jane Austen's relatives are buried in this church. And Jane Austen used the allure and some of the descriptions of these homes in Tenderton in her books that we all know as Sense and Sensibility and Pride and Prejudice. And this is John Austen. And I don't have all the details here, but we all love Jane Austen and Sense of Sensibility and Pride and Prejudice. And who doesn't love Mr. Darby? But here is one of the relatives of Jane Austen. Different types of memorials and mounds. These are always very interesting. Where you have the, like a sarcophagus, laid out by the headstone. It's another one, probably husband wife. These are little tumulus style tombs, much like you see the tumulus at Medway of Coldrum Long Barrow. So it's like a little long barrow. And more recent ones of marble. But these old ones decay pretty well because they're not really made of marble. They're made of concrete or some sort of local composite material. And you see all the headstones in St. Mildred's Cemetery. The headstones of St. Mildred's appear to be made of a concrete or composite material. Certainly not marble in most cases, or if not all. For example, here are the Goodalls, Harry and Henry Goodall, and they died in 1889. So this headstone's only 130 years old, and you can already see that, you already see that it's you know, coming apart. Here we have John Brendan. This is from 1810. And another. Here it appears to be a husband and wife. And here we have St. Mildred's Church Hall. 